A lot of us women have at some point in our lifetime experienced itching down there. Mm -hmm. But no, it's not because we are dirty or that we have a bad vaginal hygiene. In fact, it can be caused by overwashing the vagina. Guess what? One of the most common causes of vaginal itching is the popular vaginal thrush, also called vaginal yeast infection, also called candidiasis. Guys, come here. Thrush is not a toilet infection. Don't be afraid to seek help when you have thrush. As a matter of fact, out of every four women, three women will have thrush at one point in their lifetime. It is not sexually transmitted either, so be calming down. Calm down. It can be treated with drugs that you can just walk into a pharmacy and buy without a prescription. In today's video, I will be talking about the symptoms of thrush, the treatment of thrush, and how you can prevent thrush. If you're new to this channel, I am Dr. Amarachi Ijema. I am a fertility physician and I talk about everything women's health and fertility. So if you want more content like this, click the subscribe button below, turn on the notification bell and like this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for always watching my videos. How to know when you have vaginal thrush? One, you'll be complaining of itching down there. Down there will be itching and it can be so severe that it will cause cracks around the hole that is leading into your vagina. So they'll be itching around the vaginal lips, that's the lips of your vagina. It's called the vulva, the labia majora. And then the itching can cause cracks along that hole. And when it causes cracks along the hole, when you're urinating, the pee will get into those cracks and cause it to be burning. So you'll feel like this burning sensation or peppery sensation, and then you'll be complaining of pain during urination. And we call that dysuria. Those same cracks will make you have painful sexual intercourse. Because as the penis is about to enter the hole, those cracks will be hurting. So we call it superficial dyspareunia. The fourth one is the discharge. You complain of whitish, thick vaginal discharge. We usually describe it as cottage cheese. Well, in Nigeria, we don't know what cottage cheese is, so I'm going to describe it like Habib yogurt. You know how Habib yogurt looks like? Eh, uh -huh. that's how it will look like. But it's not every time that you have thrush that you have discharge. Sometimes the discharge is not plenty enough to actually come out and stain your panties. So let me tell you a story about yeast infection. Vaginal yeast infection, also called vaginal thrush, also called vaginal candidiasis. It is a fungal infection and it actually lives in the vagina. So it's actually there on a normal day. But it does not cause any harm to you because it's there. Bacteria, different types of bacteria are also there. In your vagina so what they do is they compete for space but they are not harming you they are even sort of like protecting you now you want if you want to know what actually causes the yeast infection is anything that would disrupt that normal behavior of those bacteria and yeast that will make the yeast to multiply anything that will reduce the bacteria and make the yeast to multiply is what causes vaginal thrush because it is the bacteria that is keeping the yeast in check so once you reduce it it will increase so one is antibiotics when you have recently taken antibiotics and you start having itching down there and you start having discharge just know that it could be because of the antibiotics that you just took because what antibiotics do is it goes to fight infections in your body it goes to fight bacteria it goes to kill them so when you now take antibiotics for maybe cough or ear infection or boil somewhere the antibiotics does not know which part of your body it's attacking it's just going to fight any bacteria it's seeing and remember that there are no more bacteria in your vagina so the antibiotics will still go there and kill off some bacteria and when it kills off those bacteria the yeast will decide oh i'm coming out to play and then it causes vaginal thrush giving you all of those symptoms of itching burning sensation and discharge another cause for vaginal thrush is anything that disrupts the normal ph of your vagina so when you're using soap, scented soap, perfumed products, baby wipes, steaming the vagina, douching, 
putting your hand inside and using soap and water to wash everywhere you are disrupting the normal pH of the vagina. And the normal pH also helps to put everything in your vagina in check. So by the time you disrupt the normal pH, the yeast will multiply and then cause vaginal thrush. Studies have shown that when the body is exposed to high levels of estrogen, estrogen is a female hormone, and then when the body is exposed to these high levels of estrogen, it puts you at a high risk of having vaginal thrush. One, pregnant women are highly exposed to estrogen, therefore it puts them at risk of having vaginal thrush. That's why most pregnant women always complain of vaginal thrush. The period between puberty and menopause, there are high levels of estrogen and this puts you at a high risk of actually getting vaginal thrush. It is not all thrush that you should treat. For example, some of us just go for routine high vaginal swab. High vaginal swab is that test where they put a swab stick inside the, inside the vagina and try to take the vaginal discharge around the cervix and test for organisms. When the result comes out and it shows candida, but you're not having any of the symptoms I have mentioned, then you don't have to treat. Do you know why? Because, like I already mentioned, candida lives in our vagina. It is a part of our vagina. But if you have the symptoms that I mentioned earlier, you can go and get tested, go and do a high vaginal swab. But while you wait for the result, because it takes about three days for the result to come out, while you wait for the result, you can walk into a pharmacy and buy any of the over-the-counter antifungal drugs. Now, these antifungal medications comes in cream, vaginal pessary or oral tablets now vaginal pessary means vaginal tablets that you can put inside your vagina the oral antifungal you can drink it and the cream you can either put it inside the vagina or around the hole leading into the vagina if you're pregnant and you have thrush stay away from the oral antifungal so you ask your pharmacist for the most suitable antifungal for you at the moment but if after you have used this antifungal and you are still complaining of all of these symptoms, the itching, the burning, the discharge, then you should see your doctor. Make sure you see your doctor for examination and proper evaluation. The various ways to prevent thrush is 1. Don't abuse antibiotics. Take it only when necessary. Take it only when your doctor has prescribed it for you to take. Wash your vagina with only clean water. Use room temperature water or lukewarm water. Make sure you wash from front to back. This is very important because the anus is very close to that hole leading into your vagina. So if you wash from back to front, you will be moving the bacteria in the anus, the bacteria from your bowel, so even the yeast that lives in the bowel, you'll be moving it into the vaginal hole. Avoid using antiseptic wipes after urinating. Also, make sure that your vagina is always dry. Make sure that you're not wearing damp panties. Make sure that the vagina has air to be breathing. If you've enjoyed this video and you want more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and drop your comments. See you next week.